This is Mitchell, and what I have for you today is a way to use the free media player VLC to rip songs from audio CDs and save them as WAV or MP3 or pretty well any other format that you like. So first thing you need to do is of course pop your CD into the disk drive of your computer, fire up VLC and begin to play the CD so it is loaded into VLC, then you don't, you can stop it, any track will be fine. So from there, we're going to go to media. Before we do that, I want to show you the difference between the output that you get. So here's one I've just started from a recent ELO album called From Out of Nowhere. Now track one as a WAV file here, as you can see, highlighted is 32.8 megabytes. Track two is 32.7. Now they are both WAV files, but when I save them as MP3s at 192 megabits a second, then they come down to 4.4 meg. And this one is 4.44 meg. Track number three, 4.26 meg. So as you can see, it's, and that's at 192. So it's almost 10 times less the size by going to an MP3 format. Okay, so it should be the default option will be wave is most likely going to be on yours, and you need to change that. So go to Media up the top, then come down to Convert Save. Then go to Disk and choose Audio CD. Now, it's not going to matter too much if you don't have the More Options option showing, like if you don't have that checked or not. It's not going to matter anything because you're not going to change anything here. Now, you can see I'm ready to do Track 4. I've adjusted here on these buttons to do track four. So you go down to the bottom and click on convert, save, pop up, and then convert. Okay, now from here, you come onto your profile. It will be up the top, something like this. You need to scroll down and choose audio CD. There is an option that says audio MP3, but don't choose that, choose audio CD. Now you come to the settings bar here, Edit, Select the Profile. You come to it, now it should be WAVE as a default, so come down and choose MP3. So remember your selected profile is Audio CD, then you're going to come down and choose MP3, or you could choose WAVE or whatever other format that you want, but MP3 in this case. Then come to the Audio Codec. Now the default is 128, I simply changed it to 192. If you want yours to be all 320, change it to be 320. So make sure that the codec is on MP3. Change it, change the bit rate to what you want in your MP3 file. The sample rate is still the leftover carry on from what was originally the WAV file, which is 44 100 hertz. And that's all really cool. And then you save that. Okay. So you go back to the encapsulation. So we've already got that saved. Now we need to give the destination file a name and a location. So we go to Browse. Okay, once you have your pop-up come, I've, I'm choosing to go into the music folder here on the computer. You can put it wherever you want, but for the purposes of me just doing a rip before I take it off the computer and I put it onto a MP3 player or a flash drive, onto ELO. So here's the MP3 files. Now I need to rename this file. So I'm going to call that track four. And the name of track four in this album is Down Came the Rain. So we go Down Came the Rain. Simple. Double checking. It is an MP3. And simply press save. That, so that is where the destination is going to go now. And then you press start. Now, as you can see at the bottom, you see this is processing along the bottom timeline. It's a 3 minute 29 track in length. And this is how quick it takes to rip a single song from a CD using VLC. We'll do track 5 as well to show you that process again. So that's it. As you can see, track 4, Down Came the Rain. There it is, 3 minutes 29. So now we come back, we'll go to media, 
convert disk is what we want convert save now we've already done the profile so we don't have to do it again we just need to choose where it goes so here in the ELO folder is where I want to put it so again I'll write track 5 just for the sake of example track 5 and track 5 is called losing you simple as that click save start and there's track 5 coming quick it takes about 30 seconds to do not very long at all and for a CD that might have say 10 tracks on it or 12 tracks on it is probably going to take you less than five minutes to do it to do it this way if you used an audio auto ripper you still need to type in the track names and things like that so you're not really benefiting by downloading something extra just to do this one task and but sometimes you might only want to rip off one song out of a cd and not the entire album also so there you go that is it in any case that's all I've got for this video. If you have any questions or comments about this, please leave them below. If you got something out of this, please subscribe to the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching.